Hey guys, it's Ellie from Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. I am back with a design team project for Louise Heinzel and uh, Lindsay Zanor. Um, this unfortunately will be my first and last project for Louise. I just don't have the time right now because I have so much custom orders and doing just one design team is a lot. So, um, yeah. And she knows that I support her and love her and everything that she does and her digitals are incredible and I've purchased all of them I think and so I'll have all of her information below and um, you guys should get to know her chat with her I and mean, she's amazing she's always been there when I needed to talk and um, vice versa so I don't know I hope that doesn't disappoint you I hope you're not disappointed in me Louise and um, I hope you love this journal so I took two of their kits nature themed and combined them um, one is called Green Scraps, and the other, and Lindsay's, is um, Forest Gems, and I just thought they went perfectly together. So, here it is. It has a sari silk closure. It is like tie-dyed sari silk, so there's lots of different colors. And then this beautiful fabric. I think I got it from Muna Fabrics. I have another video where I featured her shop. And so I just have a little um, cluster here with some of the ephemera from both kits and a little bronze leaf back. This is a cereal box cover, and so I left the inside just uh, the cardboard. So I have a beautiful tassel here with lots of different sari silk trims, and um, there's a butterfly button, and then this beautiful nature charm that I got from my dear friend Heather Feltman and she also has a YouTube channel and her journals are amazing she's on my design team so you should check her out too so here's the, the cardboard I love the way this looks I got this idea from Lindsay of course and I did a little stamping on it I have a library card pocket here with one of pieces of ephemera and a pretty little piece of fabric and then inside is just a library card and one of the pieces of ephemera from Lindsay's kit. First page. This is from Louise's kit. Absolutely gorgeous. I love her mixed media kits. And I have a little tab here with another leaf. And this tab is made of one of the journal cards from Louise's kit. This is from Lindsay's kit. You guys know I love mushrooms, so this definitely I had to definitely use this. This here is from Louise's kit. It's just a journal card, and I just backed it with some botanical book page. So you could do whatever you like with that. I have a little cluster here with some eyelash trim that has leaves on it. You can see a leaf there. Stamping, and I love the way this dyed page came out. And you can journal in these little boxes, different things. Sorry, I have to hold my camera. I know it's terrible. Mushroom stamp. This is from Lindsay's kit. Beautiful colors. This is from Louise. So all the ones that look like this are from Louise and the mushrooms are from Lindsay. So I have some little stamping here and then I made this little flower out of stitching. And I colored in the leaves and made the little petals. Like how that turned out. There's a pocket here with some ephemera. Isn't that beautiful? This one has a little tangle bead and um, a little bitty tag from Alicia. I love this. This is an Edith Holden book page. I love her mushroom pages so I definitely had to put it in. This is from Louise. Isn't this gorgeous the way this turned out? So grungy. Love it. Here is a just a little flip out on this mushroom page. Beautiful dark dyed paper, pretty tag, has thistles on it, love thistles. And the other side is purple, isn't that neat how that came out, like this side is so dark and this side is lighter, really love that. Some nice crinkly tea dyed ledger paper, and I think I got this from Aaliyah, there was a mushroom I stitched on this page. Love that. This is another Edith Holden page, I believe, and I made it into a tuck spot. So there's a mushroom ephemera from Lindsay and a tag from Louise.
mushroom stamping. I did some vine stitching here. Another little cluster. This is actually from Lindsay's shop. She has these little um, snippets, she calls them. This is from the Lindsay's kit, and then one of Louise's beautiful tags. And let's see, there's a little cluster here also. Another botanical book page. Goes perfectly together. This is one of um, Louise's beautiful journal cards, mushroom stamping. And this is Lindsay's. See, don't the kits go perfectly together? Here's the center. Love it. Gorgeous. And this is a big giant tag that was in Lindsay's kit, so I want to show you. Really cute, right? And then this little one. I don't know why my camera keeps doing that, I'm sorry. And then I just backed it with tea dyed paper. Some more stamping. Oops, this was, oh, these were on the other side of that paper clip. Beautiful thistles on this botanical book page. That's why it goes perfectly. This is from Lindsay. And another beautiful page. And this envelope I think I got from Betsy Davis. She had sent me some gorgeous butterfly happy mail. I mean, it was so, so sweet of her. But it's a beautiful envelope made out of a book page. And so I just thought it went perfectly in this journal. And there's a little cluster up there. Some line stitching. And there's some leaves and a little heart, and some other different leaves, some washi tape. The other side of the Edith Holden. And then it opens, you can see the pretty bees. And this is an envelope from Lindsay's kit, and inside there I think it's just a piece of paper to write on. Mushrooms, there's a pretty tab at the top with another bronze leaf. Little acorn stamp. I think those are from Tim Holtz. And some washi. Here is a top tuck that I made out of a piece of Louise's ephemera and then one of the mushroom cards from Lindsay's kit. A little piece of Tim Holtz uh, die cut. Some stamping. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then here's just a pocket, and inside is some ephemera. Did a little thing on the front there. Edith Holden mushrooms. Goes perfectly with Lindsay's kit. Here's a pocket I made out of uh, Louise's journal card. And this is from Lindsay's kit. And then over here, I did these little mushroom stamps, and I colored them in. That was really cute. Have some fabric ruffle and some uh, scrap of tea dyed ledger, and then another little scrap there. Don't want to waste it. Here is another collage in this botanical piece I cut out from a book. One of Louise's pretty journal cards. Almost at the end. Oops. And here's another tab made from a journal card. And then this paper bag thing is um, a really big seed packet. I can't remember where I got it. I think Amazon. This is part of Louise's kit. It also comes with a book cover, so you can make your own book cover from it. And this was part of that. Here's some ledger. Did some rose stamping. This is from Mushroom Magic. This is from Louise. And then inside I used the front cover of um, the book cover she provides as a tag. So that goes right in there. So, there's that. That is my design team project for Lindsay and Louise. I hope you guys go check out both of their shops because their digitals and things are incredible. Louise also has journals that she hand makes and uh, Lindsay has journal supplies, journals and things like that. So, this will be available in my shop. Um, should be there as soon as this video is up. 
and if it's not, it has sold. So thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to check out my shop. All of my digitals and prints and chips are 50% off through Sunday, and I'll see you in the next video.